Good day, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update this Friday, August 10th. And now we are uh, going to have a weekly recap to uh, recap the activities of the busy crew aboard the International Space Station. We're now inside the International Space Station flight control room where the team has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 32 crew members. The uh, six crew members aboard the station include the Russian cosmonaut and commander of the complex, Gennady Padaka, and flight engineers, cosmonaut Sergei Revin, NASA astronaut Joe Akaba, and uh, cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, NASA astronaut Sunny Williams, and Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. Malenchenko, Williams, and Hoshide arrived at the International Space Station after docking their Soyuz spacecraft to the Rossviet module on July 16th. Today they uh, complete their fourth week in space. Meanwhile, Padaka, Revan, and Akaba had launched to the orbiting complex aboard the Soyuz spacecraft as the Expedition 31 crew back in May. Their uh, vehicle had docked to the Poisk module of the space station just two days after their launch, which was on uh, May 14. And today they complete their 89th consecutive day in space. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is flying at an altitude of about 260 statute miles. The orbiting facility is uh, making a northeastern track, having just crossed over the uh, southern tip of Brazil, and is now heading across the South Atlantic Ocean and eventually for a pass across Africa. And now let's look back for the week. A week in space on a Monday, controllers on the ground had commanded the uh, space station's robotic arm to extract the exposed pallet from the slide slot on the uh, Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle cargo craft. Again, that was on Monday. The station arm then handed the pallet off to the Kibo module's robotic arm under the control of Expedition 32 flight engineers Joe Akaba and Aki Hoshide. Akaba and Hoshide installed the pallet on Kibo's exposed facility. On Monday, Akaba also worked with the uh, binary colloidal alloy test, the science payload. In this experiment, also known as VCAT C1, station crew members photographed samples of the colloidal particles as they phase separate, like oil and water, and uh, self assemble into crystals that interact strongly with light. The results will uh, help scientists develop fundamental physics concepts previously cloaked by the, gravity, the effects of gravity. And on Monday, Hoshide had participated in the Japanese experiment known as biorhythm, which measures a uh, crew member's cardiac activity during long duration stays in space. And uh, Commander Gennady Padaka had installed the KERS P antenna, the receiving antenna for the KERS automated rendezvous system that was uh, used during progress supply ship dockings in this Vesta service module. He also transferred some cargo from the newly arrived Space Station Progress 48 vehicle. And on Tuesday, flight engineer Joe Acaba had uh, focused his efforts on the fluids and combustion facilities combustion integrated rack. replacing hardware for the uh, multi-user droplet combustion apparatus. Then on Tuesday, flight engineer Sunny Williams and Aki Hoshide spent part of their day preparing for a spacewalk they will perform on August 30th. Williams cycled the positive pressure relief valves on the spacesuits she and Hoshide will wear during the excursion out to the station's truss to uh, replace a failed main bus switching unit. This is a distribution hub for the station's power system with a uh, spare located on an external stowage platform. Hoshide, meanwhile, moved unneeded hardware out to the airlock to clean up the work area as spacewalk preparations continue. Also on Tuesday, Williams and Hoshide also 
had teamed up to record an educational video demonstrating how astronauts orient themselves in an environment where there is no gravity to point the way up or down. And Williams rounded out her day installing the electromagnetic interference filters on the Fluid Science Laboratory's video management unit and it had also set up equipment for the VO2 max experiment which allows researchers on Earth to measure changes in the astronaut's aerobic capacity during a long-duration spaceflight. And then on Tuesday on the Russian side of the house, Commander Padaka and uh, Flight Engineer Malenchenko had studied procedures for their spacewalk. They will conduct on August 20th to prepare the pier's docking compartment for its replacement with a new laboratory and docking module. The uh, spacewalkers will relocate the Strela 2 hand operated crane from the pier's docking compartment to the Zarya module. And on Wednesday, Expedition 32 crew remained busy preparing for those two spacewalks. The uh, Russian spacewalk is scheduled again for August 20th, and the U.S. spacewalk is planned for August 30th. The crew members had spent time getting their spacewalk tools ready while uh, reviewing procedures, and also had uh, been checking out the Russian Orlan spacesuits for that uh, first spacewalk that is again to occur on August 20th. Meanwhile, the six station crew members had time scheduled for ongoing science and routine maintenance. Williams had participated in the VO2 max experiment that measures an astronaut's aerobic capacity. She also fed spiders and swapped out their habitats for a YouTube experiment. And also on Wednesday, Flight Engineer Joe Acaba then assisted Williams for an educational demonstration with the uh, Lego bricks. Acaba also downloaded data captured for the integrated cardiovascular experiment and replaced batteries in an uh, express rack. He also then took time to speak with WAPA TV in Puerto Rico and the Spanish language television channel Univision. And on Thursday, flight engineers Aki Hoshide and Joe Akaba used the Kibo module's robotic arm to transfer the uh, multi-mission consolidated equipment payload from the H-2 transfer vehicle 3, the external pallet, to the uh, exposed facility on the exterior of the Japanese experiment module. Akaba was later joined by flight engineer Sunny Williams to review robotics procedures in advance of the external pallet's reinsertion into uh, HTV3, which uh, took place today. Williams then had uh, worked with the burning and suppression of solids experiment on Thursday. That experiment examines the uh, burning and extinction characteristics of a wide variety of fuel samples in microgravity. The uh, experiment burning and suppression of solids, also known as BAS, will help to, to uh, develop procedures and methods for extinguishing accidental fires in microgravity. And it will also contribute to the design of fire detection and suppression systems in microgravity and on Earth. Also on Thursday, Commander Gennady Padaka and Flight Engineers Yuri Malenchenko and uh, Sergei Revin worked in the Russian segment of the station monitoring its systems and performing a uh, variety of maintenance duties. They also participated in a Russian medical test called SPRUT-2, which investigates the distribution and behavior of human body fluids in zero gravity. And later on Thursday, Hoshide had some time set aside to speak with the Young Astronauts Club in Tokyo during an in-flight event in the Kibo module. And today, Friday, August 10th, after a uh, early morning wake up at 1 a.m. Central Time, the Expedition 32 crew had kicked off their day, followed by the first of uh, two daily planning conferences with the ground controllers at Michigan Control Centers to uh, review their activities. Flight engineers Joe Cobb and Sunny Williams have worked together to uh, 
using the station robotic arm to return the exposed pallet back into the Japanese H2 transfer vehicle. Prior to uh, the crew's wake up, the ground team had unbirthed and handed off that exposed pallet from the uh, Japanese experiment module's remote manipulator system, the Japanese robotic arm, to the station arm. Akaba then worked to uh, remove the de depressed hose from the water recovery system to resume nominal urine processing assembly operations. That uh, water recovery system converts urine, sweat, and condensation into drinkable water supply for the crew aboard the International Space Station. Akaba also spent some time working with the uh, capillary flow experiment that studies how fluids move up surfaces in uh, microgravity. Meanwhile, uh, flight engineer Sunny Williams took uh, photos of that experiment. She also performed some medical experiments and took more photographs of the six YouTube Space Lab group activation pack experiments. And also today, Hoshide has been uh, transferring CDs between the CD library and the H2 Transfer Vehicle 3 transfer case. He uh, reconfigured a space station computer from the Japanese experiment module remote manipulator system from earlier this morning. He and Akaba also worked together this morning to connect uh, cabin ducts to the environmental control life support system rack in the uh, Japanese experiment module. He also performed in-flight maintenance to the portable emergency provisions and quick dawn mask assembly inspections. And at the end of the uh, day, the crew members will have put in their daily two hours of exercise using the uh, onboard gym equipment. They will also uh, participate in a final daily planning conference with the ground controllers around the world before evening prep for a light duty weekend. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.